All right, let's do the ice bath this week. So I'm doing this ice bath a little bit early today. It's like 8.15. I'm on a webinar at 10 o'clock and I'm gonna be coached about day trading. So I've prepared my two minutes of background, my three minutes of issues, and then there's four minutes they're gonna give me feedback. So I'm ready. And uh, I thought I'd knock this out of the way before that. And then after that, uh, I'll have lunch. It's a beautiful day. Some wispy clouds up above. There's somebody doing a little gardening at my neighbor's house, but he's just doing a little snipping. All the blowing's done, it's quiet. Just hear some birds. I've changed my morning routine a little bit. I used to just get up and do a little creative work and then launch into my day trading and I realized I want to do a sauna every day in the morning. So I go to the health club, I do the elliptical for a half hour, I do 20 minutes in the sauna, get back home, shower, and then I'm at my computer by six. And that uh, gives me plenty of time to prepare. So that's been feeling really good, doing the sauna every morning for 20 minutes. I do my, uh, oh, there's a hummingbird. Um, I do my, my Sam Harris meditation in the sauna for 10 minutes and uh, it's really great just a great way to start my day come back have to make some coffee do my cold shower and I am ready I don't know if I had the lion's mane extract last time um, but I've been using it all week and it's really great I'm really a big fan of it so uh, yeah, so it's really good. Really definitely seems to make me clearer headed and, and uh, my synapses, whatever happens in there, <laughs> seem to be snapping quick. And I, I like the feeling of it too. I just put the, the recommended dosage on my tongue or under my tongue. It kind of burns if you put it under your tongue. But if you put it on your tongue and then drink a little coffee afterwards, uh, I think you get the same effect. So I had a bunch of people in my mind who I was going to dedicate this to and I'm making a last minute change. This fucking ice bath is dedicated to David C. David C. So David C is my brother. He is probably my person I've known the longest <laughs> besides my parents. Uh, he came 18 months after me and uh, you know, we were really close, and then we fought, and we were close, and, uh, you know, uh, he was, uh, Dave was a star athlete um, in, in uh, grade school and, and high school. So I remember going to games, basketball games in particular, and he would just, crushed the competition. It was really fun to watch. You know, I was very proud of my brother who, you know, was the star. And he continued to be the star even into uh, high school. Um, he was the quarterback for the football team. He played basketball. 
I think he did track too. And uh, anyway, that's as far as his career went. But um, it was really great to go to the games and, you know, be proud of my brother. And uh, I got to say, Dave has lived an uh, exemplary life. He is one of those men that, you know, I would say he did it his way, but he did it kind of the way you'd expect. You know, he uh, got married, had four kids, raised all the kids, stayed married, still married. All the kids are doing great. Still in contact with all the kids. Um, you know, making his plans for the next phase of his life. You know, they're downsizing a bit and you know, all that. So having had my own challenges, being divorced twice and uh, really being close to just two of my kids out of my four, um, I can appreciate, you know, the job he did. And uh, that's really honorable. Um, I see him now like twice a year. He'll come for a weekend or a week to visit my mom, check in and uh, we talk on the phone maybe once a month or so, not that often. I, I send him and my other brother updates about my mom's status. And uh, yeah, that's where we're at now. So there's something about brothers, real, you know, biological brothers that uh, is special. We all had the same, you know, mom and dad and uh, you know, when we're together, it's like no time has really passed. We all have stories, you know, about our childhood that we like to reminisce about. So, so Dave, this, this, uh, I love you. You're an awesome brother. You've been an amazing example uh, for anyone who knows you. Um, oh, and you're an amazing host. Dave loves to cook. He loves to host at his big house and have people over. And uh, I've been part of some of those events and it's always been great. You know, there's always a, always a room for me and food for me. And now there's food and a place for my daughter who's uh, only two hours away from Dave in Chicago. Yeah, so I love you, Dave. And this ice bath is dedicated to you. And all this pain and suffering I'm experiencing <laughs> benefit you <laughs> in some way. Yeah. It's like 50 degrees. The shivering has begun. It's funny because I'm in here and my arms go against my chest. And then when I move my arms, it's like all this cold water goes, you know, it hits, hits skin that has been <laughs> not exposed to the, to the freezing cold. <laughs> it's a bit of a shock. So I'm gonna put my arms gently back where they were now. Yeah. I had a really lovely night, Thursday night, um, with my friend, Miss Bree. And uh, she was gonna meet me and then her car broke down. So I was uh, waiting for her and uh, so I had to get, jump in my car and go and get her. And we spent some time together and then I had to bring her back to her car pretty early in the morning. And it was just such a fun, wild night and I think uh, as I look back at my time with Nampoon the wild nights fed something in me I just loved the you know drinking and 
you know, the, the frenetic, a little bit of frenetic energy, um, the unexpected. Uh, and that's what last Thursday night was very much so. It's really fun. I do find as I get older, I need more recovery time. Can't do that every night like I used to, you know, on the weekends, Friday, Saturday nights. I'm good, you know, give me a couple weeks to, to fully recover. <laughs> uh, but totally worth it. Totally fucking worth it. Hmm. My men's Zoom call this last week, this week, two days ago, was really great. Really a great call. Um, they're always good. Um, it was four of us and my friend Marsha. Four guys and, and Marsha. And um, I don't know. I don't know if it was just me, but I was having the best time. We had some good music at the beginning and Everyone was sharing some good, deep, personal stuff, and it wasn't real surface-level bullshit. And, uh, and then we had a, just kind of a conversation at the end, and um, I just felt revived. Uh, I felt heard. Uh, I was happy to listen to whatever everyone else was saying. It was just a fantastic uh, one-hour call. I even had the thought while I was participating that this would be a good movie, you know? Just people getting together and talking about real things on a Zoom call. I think I could write a screenplay that would be really interesting. So that's getting added to my list of projects. Um, right now my main project is the day trading so that's getting all my focus I can only do one or two things at a time so even though I'm shivering this is the best part well one hour after I'm out is really good. But when you're in here and you're kind of past the, the surprise of it, it just feels nice. I think because all the blood like flows to my core, um, I don't know how it works, but it feels like everything slows down. What I would call a sacred space. Feel much more in touch with nature even though I'm shivering it's uh, sublime it's sublime one thing Sam Harris has you do a lot when you do his daily meditation is when you close your eyes you notice that it's not really dark in there and what I noticed today was that it's almost red. I don't know if that's because I'm seeing my eyelids or what, but in the sauna, when I close my eyes, there's a distinct kind of a burgundy to, to red uh, hue to what I'm seeing behind my closed eyes. <laughs> Decades of meditating and I never really noticed that before. Today was like, oh fuck, that looks red. Oh wow. Simply remarkable how time shifts inside of an ice block. Okay, so if you go past 15 minutes, that's not healthy. So I'm at 14 and a half, which means this week's ice bath is virtually almost over thanks for joining me if you're watching this I encourage you to do this you, you 
check with your doctor, but that's amazing. I'm gonna keep doing it. Okay, seven, eight, nine. Get under me.